Hey, beautiful people, in this quick and dirty how-to, we are going to be taking a big wide shot with OBS and smashing it down to a nice cute little circle. It's going to be adorable. I promise you, it doesn't have to be a circle either, man. It can be trapezoid, triangle, a dodecahedron. That's probably not a shape. Let's pretend it is, for example. But you might be thinking, hey, man, I know how to do this. I can put an image mask on my webcam shot. You know, we have totes of webcam and do anything I want with it. And you would be half right. The thing is, once you do that, it's always going to be like that. There is another way. So you could have a single shot if you want to go back to that. With everything in view, then you could go down to a cropped shot that isn't your regular boring square shape, you know, it's so boring. But it's a bit roundabout, but let's get to it. It's not difficult to get set up. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to start with an empty template in OBS. I have totes a webcam, because it's not technically a webcam, but it's close enough. You have one at home. And you have your scene. So the first thing we need to do is just duplicate a scene too. We're just calling it round cam, because we are imaginative. Now that we have round cam, let's copy our totes the webcam in to round cam. Now we have that as reference. It's easy enough. I mean, we're genuinely halfway there. The thing we have to do next is create a mask. So let's do that real quick. We're just going to use GIMP. I had to see whether or not I had it open. Turns out I did not. There we go. So I'm using um, 1920 by 1080. That's what we record at. So check if you're doing uh, 1280 by 720 or 16 by 9 or anything like that. That's going to be important for sizing. So I'm just going to create 1920 by 1080 and we're going to have to make it transparent. So let's pop that in. Let's get sized a little better. There we go. So with this, this is where you would um, come up with any shape that you want. We're, we're going to use a circle because that's real easy to do and it's really hard to mess up. I'm just going to pop it over to the right, so about there. And we can fill it in any color that you want. I just stick with green because I've always been doing green. There's not really a rhyme or reason to that. There we go. That, that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to save this. Uh, we're not going to save it. We're going to export as... Um, we're just going to call it round then as a ping. It'll be transparent. Depression. Nothing really matters here. We'll just do that. And we do not need to save. Okay. We're effectively done. We want to make sure we're in our round cam. And we don't want to make... Don't, don't be on the source. Make sure you're on round cam. Right click. Go to filters. Again, make sure it's the round cam scene and not the source. And we're going to click our little plus button. And we are going to add a happy little mask blend. So from here, we will select our round VIN. There we go. Huh? See? Told you this was easy. Mm, you can tell I almost got that right. I'd want to tighten that up. Salt to taste. It's real easy to do. Uh, but you will notice. Even, you know, how opaque it is, even though I have it set to 100% and still kind of faded out. That's because we are set the alpha mask is to color channel. So just set that to alpha channel and you'll get your 100%, you know, enforced goodness. But that will, you know, you can still, oh, we can get spooky like that. It's kind of really, I normally keep ours, you know, 70, 80%. I might take that down to 70. Ooh, there we go. Let's, hmm. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. Yeah, that's good. There we go. And you can now see I still have the totes of webcam shot in there, but we have the scene loaded. So here's what we can do. If we want to go back to like our full scene, it's fine. We can move that around. There's not a problem. 
So what we're going to do now, anytime that you want to add that shot, let's say, you know, this is this is a video game and you're playing that, what you're going to be doing is adding a scene. And you're just going to add round cam. Boop. Should I've got to do anything? Yes, it did. There it is. Ta-da. So you can put that anywhere you want. Look at that. That let's be honest. That's a little bit horrifying. Hundred percent. But it's really easy to do, and, you know, you can put that in the corner or any shape that you want. Or maybe you would just watch this and you're like, hey, I have a different idea that doesn't apply to what you just said, because that happens to me all the time when I watch something along these lines. But there's that. I just wanted to share it with everyone because it's not terribly obvious, and uh, hopefully it'll get you sorted. All right. Bye-bye.